Farmer John's cows are going to milk in pairs. So each one of them is going to have a certain amount of milking output. And what's going to happen is when the cows are put together in a stall, cows of milk outputs A and B have a total amount of time of A plus B. So with these M cows, Farmer John needs to find the minimum amount of time it takes for all of the cows to be milked. Let's go look at the algorithm for this question. We can solve this question by using two pointers. If we assumed this question but easier, let's just say we have a list where every value only appears once. Well, we'd solve this question using two pointers. And the way we would do that would just be having the list be sorted and then starting one pointer here at the smallest value and another pointer here at the largest value. And since we're adding the two values together for the sum, if you think about some sort of example like this, in order to minimize the total amount of time, we definitely don't want to have the greatest value be with another big value. So for the greatest value, we want to give it the smallest possible one. And for the next greatest, the next smallest possible one. And so what this means is we're just going to have two pointers, one starting on this side and one starting on this side. And they're just going to pair each other up. And so one is going to be like this, and then we're going to move them both in one. So this here, and then this here, and then these are gonna be a pair, and then so on and so forth. And so for our miniature question, we already know it's just going to be two pointers. So what about with duplicates? Well, with our duplicates, let's assume that we have our list here, where we have a bunch of ones, twos, threes, and this right here is equivalent to this, where each one of these circles basically contains two values. It has the cow time, and it has the number of cows with that value. And so this array here is the same as this array here. And what we can actually do is we can simulate two pointers. If I have one pointer here and one pointer here, one here and one here, exactly the same as the example here. Well, when we move this and we move it here, what we're going to do is we're just going to assume this value inside of the circle is like a counter. And we have to stay a certain amount of turns. Actually, we have to stay this number of turns until we can move on to the next value. And so if we were to simulate these examples, they actually work side by side. So let's say on our first turn, well, we're going to have a counter of how many times we've already stayed at the circle. So for this, this circle, it's one, the circle is one. And since this number here is equal to this number here, this pointer is now going to move here. And then on the bottom example here, let's just draw a line here. At the bottom example here, it still works the same way as this one where this pointer is now going to move one here, this one is going to move one here. And then for our top example, for the second turn, this one stays, this one stays. And then the bottom example here is just going to be moving one, moving one. For our third turn here, this number is equal to this number, meaning that we have this pointer move one. And then in our bottom example, our pointers are again going to move one here. And then this one is going to move one here. And so on and so forth. So I've defined LL as long long and F and S as first and second. So anytime you see LL, it means long long. And anytime you see dot F and dot S, it means dot first and dot second. We're going to read in our input and then I'm going to read it in as a vector of pairs. And so for each cow, it's going to be represented as a pair. The first number is going to represent the number of cows, and the second number is going to represent the cow value. So that's the time or the output. And so what we're going to do is we're going to define a couple variables and sort our cows. Over here, I have a function that sorts the cows based off of dot second, and that just means we're sorting them based off of their milk output. And for each one of our pointers, we have two left and right. We're going to have two values, the current and the count. 
So the current is going to store the current index, where in our example earlier we had the circles, is just going to be the current circle we're on. And then count is going to store the number of cows we've already used with this milk output. So for example, in our first circle in the example earlier, it was one and five. Count L is going to go up to five. And so we're going to loop through and we're just going to keep going while the left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer. We're going to update our answer by making it the maximum of itself and our current pair, where our current pair is cows cur L, cows cur R. And then we're going to increase count L and count R. And once we increase them, we need to check whether or not we've already used up all the cows with this current milk output. And we're going to do that by basically checking if this number is greater than the number of cows with this milk output, we're going to advance our pound pointer and we're going to reset our current count. And we're going to do the same thing for R. And this is effectively just going to move our pointer every time we use up enough turns so that we've used all of the cows with this current milk output. And once we finish with that, we're just going to output our answer. And that's the end of our program.